Baby Olaf. Yep, that's right. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this extremely adorable Baby Olaf cake. I know he's not a baby. He was never a baby in the movies, but for this video, I'm going to reimagine him as a baby. Hello everyone, my name is Kristen Bell. Let's get started. Now I just saw Frozen. Wow, it blew my mind. I didn't, I'm going to be honest, I didn't like the first one. But this one was so, it was as deep as that ocean that Elsa should have drowned in, but because she's magic and it's a Disney movie, she didn't. I loved the entire movie and Olaf was one of my favorite parts, so that's why I decided to make him a baby cake. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything in the movie, I just can't believe that the Now to create this baby cake, I'm starting off with my head, and to create Olaf's head, I'm starting with my egg-shaped cake. And look, funfetti, but it's a little different because I added some blue food coloring to create the color. This was special, you guys. Olaf was the funniest thing about that movie. Now I created a stencil, I'm just gonna cut away Olaf's face shape. The egg-shaped cake really lends itself to Olaf's face shape. Now if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my second channel, Mighty Mix. This month I'm highlighting all of my Christmas cakes, but pretty soon I'm just going to be uploading some original content on there as well. So make sure you don't miss it. Now I'm adding another stencil. I just cut out a little bit because I knew that he has a really big like lower, I don't know, face? His mouth, his nose, that whole area is very thick. And so I had to cut down a lot for my second layer. After that, it was just about rounding out to create the Olaf head shape. His jokes were so funny. Sometimes he gets on my nerves, <laughs> Josh Gad. But in this movie, he's perfect. Now on goes my crumb coat. And then into my fridge, my Olaf head went. And it was time to work on the body. Now to create Olaf's baby body, I am using my adjustable cake pan. I do this exact same thing when I created George and Michelle, my first two baby cakes. Now if you want an in-depth look at how to create a baby cake, then you should watch that video because I go far more in-depth than this. This I'm just talking over the footage. Basically, just about everything I've frozen that I loved. And did you see their gowns? Did you see the gown at the end that Elsa's wearing? <gasps> that needs to be a doll cake. <laughs> now to create the baby shape, I'm cutting just a little bit away, which is really good because I got rid of most of the caramelization. And then I actually had to take my cake out of the fridge. <laughs> Just so I could get the right face shape, the second layer of this body cake is going to be cut away so that I could fit my Olaf head in its place. That's a lot of cake to cut away, but there's a big mouth waiting for it. <laughs> After that, I just rounded out my Olaf baby shape. And then I just added a layer of buttercream. Now, just like my Olaf face, this is going to get a crumb coat. Just cover the entire thing and place it into the fridge to set up. Now, my favorite song from the movie is Anna's The Next Right Thing. Oh, I like it. It's so good. The way that they execute the scene when she's singing it, it's so heart-wrenching. I felt it. And there are a lot of situations where you feel that way and it, it's just so uplifting. It's beautiful. Did you watch it? You didn't? I can't believe it. You need to go watch it, okay? Once my cake was fully covered, it was time to start adding my fondant. So I'm gonna cover my entire Olaf head with some white fondant. Push the fondant underneath the cake so that I have a nice curved edge at the bottom. And just pull away the excess. There aren't very many details that I had to create for this cake. The only one that I really had to was the slit where his mouth is. 
wanted to give him a really nice smile. And because it's Olaf, I only had to make one tooth. Usually when I make creatures, I have to make like seven or eight and it just takes forever. But Olaf, it's just one simple tooth. I'm adding two pieces of black fondant to create his eyes and the ugly carrot for his nose. I don't know if I've said this before, but Olaf has all of the features of an ugly snowman and yet he's adorable. <laughs> that carrot's the carrot that you don't eat from the bag. That's a, that's a carrot that you could throw away. Or some people call it the lucky carrot. Um, lucky because it doesn't get eaten? Probably. Now we got two catch lights and I'm gonna add a little bit of color to his eyes just so that they look even, oh man. Doesn't that look cute? That blue is so vibrant. Now I'm gonna add second catch lights just to give him, oh. Uh, his eyes sparkle like crazy, even though there's no actual sparkle. And a little blush right Then some eyebrows. Now let's finish this cake. Now I'm gonna add my Olaf head to the rest of my cake. I added a little bit of white to create Olaf's chest. And because we are creating a frozen snowman, I'm using this really nice winter blue. Oh, I just came up with that name. I was gonna say baby blue, but it does look like a winter blue. It's too light to be a baby blue. I'm covering his head first and then adding the three twigs that are his hair. Now I'm gonna wrap his body with two more pieces of fondant and it's gonna make it look like he's wrapped in a very nice blanket. So we got one on the right, just tucking it under and then pulling away the excess. And I'm gonna add another piece on the left and do the exact same thing. Now to add a little bit more detail to this, because it is frozen, I'm gonna add some snowflakes. I cut out some white snowflakes with some white fondant and a cookie cutter. And I'm just gonna add them to the blanket. Oh, it's so precious, isn't it? <laughs> now I wanted his hands to just be peeking out through the blanket, so we got one there. And then I'm gonna have him wave with the other hand. Hello, Sandra. <laughs> I giggle like a little girl, don't I? <laughs> and voila, my baby Olaf cake was complete. This cake is adorable, man. Baby cakes are my favorite thing right now. That and cute and scary cakes. That tooth, man. Only babies can get away with one tooth. I saw an old man with one tooth and I was like, no bueno. If you want to see more baby cakes, I have a baby Yoda cake. I don't know, which one's cuter, Olaf or Yoda? I've got Georgia Michelle, and I've got a whole bunch coming your way. I'm curious, what other character would you like to see me babyfy? Which character would you like to see in baby form? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!